Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with more 2023 300XC content. Today is the day that we do the ultimate performance upgrade. The one thing that makes a bike handle better, have more power, run better, get better mile, all the things you want a bike to do, this is the one thing that you can do that will make it epic. Hang on. Stickers! <laughs> We've got our graphics kit and we're gonna deck this thing out because I'm racing it this weekend and I need my numbers on this thing. So, very, very excited about that. Uh, just to make it look like my bike. Obviously, stickers don't do anything except for make it pretty and only for a little while, but I'm very excited about it. Um, I've done other videos on sticker installation, so I'm probably not gonna go super deep in here with you guys, but uh, a few things. First of all, I just obviously washed the motorcycle, got it all cleaned up. I don't have any real scratches on it, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> plan on you know fixing that this weekend. <laughs> fixing that this weekend. Uh, actually, hopefully not. Hopefully we stay upright and we do uh, get a decent result out of this situation. Um, but so you want it clean, you want it smooth. If you have scratches, it's okay. Actually, you don't have to replace the plastic. Just get some sandpaper, emery cloth, whatever. Sand those down so they're nice and smooth. You don't have to go crazy. I mean, obviously if you want to, great but it's not necessary uh next thing we're going to do is we're going to start here on the left side i think and i'm going to start with the shroud because that looks crazy i don't know yeah <laughs> let's see how it goes all right a couple things you're going to need to make this easier soapy water um you'll see either a heat gun or a hair dryer hair dryer honestly is probably better because uh it's a little um not it's not as hot so it actually won't uh, melt you can actually melt plastic seat all kinds of things with one of these so you got to be careful so i like to take the seat off because usually these shroud graphics kind of wrap up over so exciting all right guys here we go Got a shroud graphic, let's kind of line it up, make sure. Okay, yeah. Looks like it's right, that's good. I got these graphics from Decal Works um, quite a while ago. And uh, honestly, I wasn't sure that it would fit because, you know, the bike hadn't been out and all that stuff, but looks like we're good, at least for this. So, take it all off. Make sure your hands are super clean so you're not getting a bunch of dirt. Then we're just gonna kind of line everything up try to cover up all that orange and this is why you put the ah uh, there we go the soapy water on there so that you can kind of move it around I'll leave a little bit of that showing i think because all right, so that looks good. Now, I'm going to raise this up a little bit. And warmed up. I put it on the lower temperature. It's still plenty hot, don't get me wrong. Just kind of slowly start to warm things up and I like to use my hand uh, they have the squeegees and sometimes I'll go back over it with the squeegee but I found a lot of times I've actually kind of scratched the graphics with those squeegees um, and maybe someone out there has a it was a professional sticker installer, as I know they're out there. Um, could, you know, maybe give me a tip on using that squeegee because, like I said, I've found that I kind of jack stuff up. So, and just want to be super careful not to melt the graphics if you're using the heat gun because they do get super hot. It wouldn't be able to get out, but it can. So 
that water and that soap will eventually just dry up and go away leave you with really really stuck on graphics um, you don't want to probably go ride this thing for about 24 hours uh, because they're you know this is the most critical time for them they could come up uh, you know if your boots or whatever you can wear them off so just make sure you get all that water out say so go back over little bubbly parts of your fingers you want to be pushing from the inside out with all your pushes you know all the smoothing so that you get the air bubbles and water pushed out already looking good guys these ones are always the super hardest so many contours uh but decal works is so good at this they make these things fit so well so let's give it a shot same deal soapy water now i like to use that bolt hole as my alignment kind of get that like that All right, it's starting to look good. I'm gonna turn you guys off. I'm gonna keep working on this side, and then when I get to different parts, I'll show you what we're doing. All right, just coming along, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, I like to leave the plastics on the bike. I, I don't like installing graphics on plastics that are off the bike, because I like to be able to push and pull and move and whatever, and I have a hard time. Other guys like it the other way. There's really no right or wrong about that, but on fork guards, they gotta come off. <laughs> <laughs> at least uh especially on these new ones because they're they wrap further around also we got the brake one so anyway i'm gonna take that sucker off and do that four cards it's funny they always i always get nervous about them but they're actually always a lot easier than you think all right guys it's turned out really good super happy with that but i just want to show you something uh from decal works i like everything fits great except See that? It's got a little bit of an overlap, but that's no big deal. I'm just going to use a razor knife to cut that off. Um, everything else fits, so I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe the template's just a little bit off or, you know, who knows. But just something to be aware of if you buy graphics from Decal Works. Uh, fork guards might come like that. Again, everything else is so perfect. I don't care. I'm just going to take a razor knife or a razor blade, cut that off. Uh, and I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll move on to the front fender and number plate. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Um, uh, I really like the way this thing looks. Uh, I love having my numbers on a bike. It just makes it feel like it's actually my, uh, actually mine. So um, now, guys, um, the only last thing I'll leave you with on sticker installation is once you get them all on there, uh, grab your heat gun or your hair dryer and just walk back around and look for little things like that. So you can see that. Um, kind of a bump there uh, that doesn't look like it's adhered quite all the way see there we go and just walk around with a heat gun hair dryer whatever and just go back over it all make sure it's all nice and down um, you know and just take your time and then let the thing sit because if you don't they will come back off too easily in my opinion so pretty psyched about that this bike is super sexy Thanks for joining me. I hope that was fun. hope it was informative. Uh, comment below what you think about the graphics kit. Tell me what you think. If the retro is cool or if it's stupid or whatever. Anyway, thanks guys. Pop wheelies.